So, hello everyone! I'm Arlene Brun from Tarlac State University, College of Nursing, BSN 1B. So, for today, we will assessing the um, female genitals and the inguinal area. So, for the purpose, to assess for any abnormalities of the genitourinary system and to help diagnose disorders and diseases of the anterior tract and the, the genital tract and then to plan for appropriate interventions pertaining for the genitourinary problem and to evaluate for the improvement and response to the uh, management and then after that uh, we have the assessment determine the following so presence of the factors increasing the susceptibility to the infections and possibility to undiagnosed um, infection for example the HIV so recent diagnostic uh, procedures or treatments that uh, penetrated to the skin and for the body uh, cavity and then after that review the patient chart for the need of the uh, genitourinary assessment and then after that is um, determine the client history of the following so age at onset of menstruation so hello po ma'am kailan po yung uh, natatandaan niyo pa po ba kung kailan po yung first menstruation po ninyo? Uh, okay po. And then after that is last menstru menstrual period. So, ma'am, natatandaan niyo pa po ba kung kailan po kayo last na nag-mens? Uh, okay po. And then after that is to regularity of the cycle, the duration the flow and the um, whether the menstruation is painful. So, ma'am, kapag um, yung mens nyo po ba is regular, tapos po yung kamusta po yung flow niya, okay naman po. Tapos, um, kapag uh, nagmamens po kayo, nakakaram nararamdaman nyo po ba na nararamdaman nyo po ba yung painful? Or yung sobrang sakit po ng kusun po ninyo? Okay po. And then after that, incidents of the pain during the intercourse. So, ma'am, um, kapag nagkakaroon po ba kayo ng um, sexual intercourse between your partner po, um, sumasakit po ba yung um, vagina po ninyo? Mm, okay po. And then after that is um, vaginal discharge. So, ma'am, um... Kapag um, umiihi po kayo or naliligo, natatry nyo po ba i-check if there's any discharge po sa vagina po ninyo? Mm, okay po. And then after that is um, number of the pregnancy. So, ma'am, ilan na po yung, um, ilang beses na po kayo nagbuntis? Mm, okay po. Yung na... Um, then after that is the number of the live births. So, mam, ilang beses na po kayo um, uh, na nagkaroon ng live births? Mm, okay po. And then after that is the um, labor or delivery, delivery um, problem or complication. So, Ma'am, nang dinideliver niyo po ba yung baby po ninyo? Nagkaroon po ba ng any kinds of complications? Mm, okay po. And then, after that is um, urgency and frequency of the urinal at night. So, ma'am, kapag gabi po ba, nagkakaroon po ba ng um, Frequency of urination. Nagkakaroon po ba kayo ng um, frequency urination? Mm, okay po, ma'am. And then after that is um, blood in urine. Kapag umiihi po ba kayo, ma'am, um, napapansin nyo po ba na may dugo or may kasamang dugo yung pag-ihi po ninyo? 
Hmm, okay po ma. And then after that is the painful urination. So, ma'am, kapag um, umiihi po ba kayo, nakakaramdam po ba kayo ng pain? Ayan po. Mm, okay po. And then after that is the incontinence. Um, ma'am, nararamdaman niyo po ba yung incontinence? Um, like, um, yung hindi niyo na po mapigilan yung um, pag-ihi po ninyo? Mm, okay po. And then after that is history of sexual transmitted diseases, past and the present. So, ma'am, nagkaroon po ba kayo ng history, um, history, um, sexually transmitted disease? Mm. Sa past po. Mm. Okay po. And then after that, for the uh, planning, uh, plan for the proper steps needed in assessing the patient genitals and inguinal area. And then assemble equipment and um, supplies. First, the examination gloves, the drape, and the um, supplemental lighting um, if it is needed. So... Um, we will proceed for the implementation. So, um, first is um, secure consent for the procedure. So, we, ha we are here in our house that um, um, uh, close the... Uh, this is very um, conservative house that there is no people here. So, um, after that, is explain to your client what you're going to do, uh, why it is necessary, and how the client can cooperate to you. And then after that, is wash uh, hands and observe the appropriate um, infectious control procedures. So, we have here a alcohol to remove all the microorganisms. And then after that, um, wear a non-sterile gloves and be careful when you are wearing this gloves to avoid the uh, contamination. So, I use the glove-to-glove uh, -glove technique. So make sure that uh, the glo uh, the gloves that you wear is there is no excess in the edge of your finger. And then after that is um uh, for the uh, uh, provide the client. Uh, privacy by closing the doors, the windows, and the curtains. And then after that is the uh, position the client so fine with um, feet elevated and then the um, stirrups of an uh, examination table. So alternately assist the client into the um, dorsal recumbent position. And then after that is knees, flex, and thigh externally uh, rotated. And then after that, 
um, we will proceed into the pubic hair of the patient. So, first is inspect the uh, distribution of the uh, amount and the characteristic of the uh, pubic hair. So, so um, let's inspect the pubic hair of the patient. So, okay naman siya. And then, after that is the uh, separation of labia minora and labia minora labia majora and labia minora to assess the pubic skin adequately. So, using the um, uh, index finger and the first two finger, um, you can um, uh, separate the labia minora and labia majora. And then after that is um, inspect the skin of the pubic area for the parasite implementation, inflammation and the uh, swelling or any lesions. So check natin. If there is any um, inflammation, swellings and the... Um, And then after that is um, for the vagina, inspect the clitoris, uh, urethral orifice, and the vaginal orifice, and the when separating the labia minora, and note for any abnormalities and presence of discharge. So, we will use the index finger and the uh, first two finger to uh, check or to inspect the clitoris and urethral orifice and the vaginal orifice. And then after that is to, uh, we will move into the inguinal area. So, palpate the inguinal area and assess for presence of the lymph nodes, hernia, or any inflammation. So, we will check if there's any lymph nodes in the inguinal area of the female of our patient or any inflammation. And then after that is um, document the uh, uh, document all the findings that the uh, client record. So for the evaluation, perform the uh, proper hand washing after the procedure, and then after that is reassess the patient for any discomfort or problem after performing assessment of the genital and the inguinal area of the patient. So, so before we uh, document, make sure that we uh, perform the proper hand hygiene after the assessment. So, And then, we have here a alcohol to remove all the microorganisms. And then after that, don't forget to note the patient uh, record. So, ma'am, okay naman po yung ginawa natin. So, ma'am, okay naman po. Wala po kayong dapat ikabahala. And then, after that, is, um, 
we will say thank you to our patients. So, ma'am, thank you po. And then, this is the end of the assessing of the um, genitals and the uh, um, inguinal area of the patient.